Hey there. So today we are making an amazing salad and it's really more vegetable than it is greens. But I also want to give you a lot of tips on how to enjoy your salads more. So uh, this is cucumber. And yes, I'm almost done chopping it. But I want to point out, I didn't used to be a fan of cucumber. And then I read about how they are really high in B vitamins. And we can all use some more B vitamins, which are so calming to your system. And cucumber is cooling and it's loaded with water, good water. Well, when I find out that something has all those health benefits, it just automatically makes me more attracted to it. And then, as I chop this cucumber, I'm making sure I am in the moment. And one of the things that stands out for me is how fresh cucumber smells. And I'm really taking it in and enjoying it. Imagining the cooling taste, the health that my body's absorbing, so on and so forth. So another tip, too. When it comes to salads, I think people, much like sandwiches, um, may make the mistake of not understanding that there's an art to it. And just like sandwiches, you wanna make sure all your pieces are similarly sized. And I prefer smaller sizes. You know, you want to be able to get a mix of the flavors that are in your salad in each bite. So if you've got really big chunks of stuff, you you can't, you don't get to experience that amazingness of multiple flavors. So with sandwiches, the art is you want to cut everything thin. You want to cut the meat thin. You want to cut the, the vegetables thin. You want to um, cut the cheese thin. And then you want to spread it very evenly throughout the bread that you're using. You don't want it all piled up in the middle. Um, it makes it hard to eat. It's not as enjoyable. And it's actually pretty hard for me to find a place. I actually learned this from a local cafe who's no longer in business, but um, I learned the art of sandwich making and, and the owner was just fastidious about sandwiches being made properly. So when I go get a sandwich, I can be a real pain in the ass to eat lunch with because <laughs> if it's not thinly cut and layered properly, I just don't enjoy it that much. And I may even complain. So, um, yeah. So salads, you want things to be cut Smally, smaller, on the small side. It takes more time, but it's well worth it. Next, we're preparing the red onion. And again, onion can tend to be pungent and you want it distributed evenly throughout your salad. So we're cutting this in a, maybe a little smaller than a chop, and a little bit bigger than the mince. Uh, dice, actually. Well, probably about the size of a dice. So a little bit smaller than a quarter inch. And again, you want to appreciate the fragrance that's coming from the onion. And think about the health benefits also of fresh onion. Now, a trick, because nobody likes to cry from onions, and I this one's been sitting on my counter and not refrigerated, but if you do refrigerate your onions, um, there will be less tears. So, I'm going to add it to the bowl. So, I cut a little bit too much onion, and I didn't use it all. Um, it's about three-quarters of a cup. The cucumber is... My, this, these were unusually small, so 
it calls for half of a normal sized cucumber. This one was about the size of half. <laughs> so I went ahead and cut it all. It probably a little bit more, but um, I talked about how wonderful and healthy cucumbers are for you. So I added more. Now cherry tomatoes are the, these are grape tomatoes. They're organic and they're the exception to the cut small. I probably could quarter, you know, cut them in quarters. I'm just gonna go ahead and have them. And we're adding about a pint. And again, appreciate the flavor as well as the fragrance. Now what I find, because it's not tomato season, and I find these grape tomatoes and organic tomatoes, get mine at Trader Joe's, and they just seem to have more flavor at this time of year than whole tomatoes or really any other choice you can make. So there we go. Next is our Kalamata olives. And I love the pungent flavor of Kalamata's. If you're not a big fan, you can use black olives. They're milder. But I like Kalamata so much. That uh, I'm putting about a half a cup. Now we're slicing these, and you do have to do it individually, and I do buy pitted Kalamata olives. But just slicing them is enough for them to mix well into the salad and provide that everything in a bite <laughs> opportunity. These are organic mini peppers. They're sweet peppers. And they come in a bag. And they keep longer once, once well, once I open a bell pepper, it seems like it goes um, slimy within a day or two. Because these are all individual, you're not cutting into them, so they just they just last longer. And um, and it's just a, a thinner vegetable. So you've got more of an opportunity for it to spread throughout whatever it is you're using it in. We're gonna cut this also about the size of the onions, maybe a little bit smaller. Like so. You wanna remove the pith and the seeds. I'm very careful to make sure my fingers are out of the way. And while a lot of these ingredients um, I probably wouldn't eat on their own, my own, their own. Actually, I'm looking at them. Cucumber, the olives, and the tomatoes I all love on their own. When you mix these all together and add in this case, the lime dressing that I made for as a subscriber, it just changes everything. Um, you know, I wouldn't sit and just eat peppers. A lot of people do, they eat them like apples. I don't, but I understand the, how healthy they are, especially the vibrantly colored peppers like these. And yes, I failed to put a wet cloth underneath my cutting board so it's sliding around.
The pepper was the last of the chopped ingredients and now I'm adding canned. I always use canned beans. It's so much, so much easier. Uh, energy efficient, I suppose. Anyway, you always want to rinse your beans because there's lectins in the water in the cans. And the lectins are especially complicated <laughs> or um, problematic for those people that have autoimmune disease and um, can just cause a breakdown in our bodies. It may not seem like they're bothering you, but your body can only handle so many toxins and uh, ingredients or chemical reactions that are problematic. So we want to get rid of the water on the beans. <clears throat> okay, what a beautiful salad this is. See that? How gorgeous is that? Now we're going to add... Cheese. You don't have to add cheese. Um, you can use feta. You want to use a crumbled cheese, a potent crumbled cheese. This is goat cheese because I really like it. So we're adding about a half a cup. Now we're gonna to toss it with our lime dressing. And you can use oil and vinegar or, I don't recommend using bottle dressing like what you buy at the store. I call it death in a bottle. It's got so many chemicals in it. And you know how I feel about that. So we're gonna stir all this up. And you can eat this just like this, it's so healthy for you, so healthy for you. Oh my goodness, it smells like <sighs> Greek salad. Now we're going to add the last ingredient. So this salad does not have any lettuce in it. It does have greens which is what you see here. This is arugula. Now, I love arugula in specific flavor combinations and arugula works very well with all of these vegetables. It's also delicious on avocado toast. I don't know if you've ever tried avocado toast or if you've ever tried arugula on it, but it just works. It has a pretty pungent, which is why it works in the salad, flavor, and it's peppery. Mm, and it smells amazing. So we're just gonna toss this a couple handfuls. We're just gonna toss this into the salad. And again, you can see that it's mostly ingredients. It is not mostly greens. They are like just an, an, another ingredient, not the basis for. So I am so excited to have my lunch today. You can salt and pepper it, but I do recommend tasting it first because the cheese adds salt, the dressing adds saltiness, the calamatos are salty. So mm, can't wait. See, and I've got a little bit of everything in one bite. There's peppers, garbanzo bean, tomato, cucumber, kalamata, did I say that? And some arugula, yum. Perfection. Enjoy your day. Eat for your enjoyment and your health. And it is possible to have both. Thank you. 
Have a great day.